Okay, children, so far I told you stories about bringing people back from the other world. How about keeping people alive? When you want to see somebody, you can keep them alive and keep yourself alive. A little bit of a sad story. You know, my beautiful friends, for good or for bad, what do we know? Before the war in Poland, especially Bachsil Jeden, the bride and the groom saw each other for one second before the wedding. And then people were hoping it'll work out. You see, what do I know? Today people see each other a hundred times and it still doesn't work. What do I know? But anyway, this is the story. In Poland, a Swedish young man, 17 years old, gets married to a daughter of a Swedish youth. She is 16. They saw each other one second before the chuppah. At night they come home and she looks at him and she says, Do you really think I'll stay with you? I don't love you. You're disgusting. I don't ever want to see you again. She opened the door. She ran out. He was one of the first people to be arrested. Miraculously, miraculously he survived. He knew his parents were killed, his brothers and his sisters. And as much as he was so angry at his wife, he ran out on him. He wanted so much to know if she is alive. All the time he was looking for her. After the war is coming to lodge, there was like a headquarters with people looking for their relatives. He went there every day. One day, one day. He walks in there. Who's by the door? His wife. Do you know what she's telling him? It was a thousand times I was supposed to die. There were a million times I wanted to push me in the gas chambers. But I knew one thing, I have to remain alive. Because I have to see him. Ask you for forgiveness. Please forgive me. I didn't know how much I loved you. He says, do you know something? We just saw each other for minutes. You treated me so bad. But you know how much I care for you? You know what kept me alive? There's only one thing kept me alive. I was hoping maybe, maybe I'd see you after the war. I want you to know the first Shabbos both of them arrived in America. They were guests in my father's house and they told us a story. A few weeks ago, I was invited to the grandson's bar mitzvah. Friends, when you love somebody, even from afar, you can keep them alive. <laughs>